Hello people and welcome to this new class in where we're gonna see the align tool. This align tool can be found going over window, object and layout. Then here we have this panel align, pathfinder and transform. Anyways, my align panel is already here. By clicking and drag, I will isolate it because I want you to focus on this specific panel on this class. As you can see, we have here several options, right? We find different categories into this panel as align objects, distribute objects, and distribute spacing. Let's start from the beginning, align objects. Here, I recommend you to hover over the thumbnails and read the label associated with this little drawing. For instance, in this first one, we can read align left edges. And we have this little drawing, which actually is very clear. What we are gonna do is to align the selected objects to the leftmost edge. Let's do it. I will select just these two guys and then one click on here, align left edges. And here we are. Control set one step back. Let's jump to the next option and we read align horizontal centers. We check the drawing and everything seems clear. Thanks to this tool, we are going to align the centers of the selected objects, but the horizontal center. Let's click it and here we are. Moving to the right, we find align right edges. As you can imagine, we are going to align the selected objects to the rightmost edge. Let's do it and this time I will select the three guys then one click and here we are and one comment here everything is being aligned to the page we are talking all the time about the page that is the reference and that is like that because we have here this option align to if I expand this menu align to page is marked but we have more options we have align to selection align to key object align to margins align to page and align to spread. So this menu is the key because we always need a reference. Imagine that I mark align to selection. Then I place my objects randomly. I select these first two guys and I click align left edges. One click and here we have the result. This time the selected objects were aligned to the leftmost edge but not of the page but of the object. Let's do it again. This time selecting the three of them and clicking align right edges. What is the most right edge here? It is this one I am marking right now. Then this guy, the green one, is gonna be moved till that edge. Let's do it. One click on here, align right edges, and here we are. This same logic is working with these guys on the right side, align top edges, align vertical centers, and align bottom edges. It is exactly the same as before, but now we are working, taking as a reference the vertical axis. Example, I will again move my objects randomly. I select these two guys and I click on here, align top edges, while align to selection is marked. What is gonna happen? The pink guy is gonna be moved till the topmost edge of the object, till here, right? Let's see it, one click, and here we are. Let's do it now with these three guys. Firstly, I select all of them, and then again, align top edges. What is gonna happen? This green guy is gonna go up till this edge, till the topmost edge of the selected objects. Let's see it. Here we are. Again, I will move the guys a little bit. Imagine now that I want to use this option called align bottom edges, but this time I want these three guys aligned to the bottom of the page. Then firstly, I have to go to align to, align to page. Then I select the three guys and I say align bottom edges. Here we are. If I select, for instance, this one, and then I click align vertical centers, then the vertical center of this square is going to be aligned to the vertical center of the page, right? That's it. One click on here, and here we are. Remember to check the thumbnails because they are very clear. Time to jump to the next category. Distribute objects. Again, 
the label and the drawings are the key. Here it is said distribute top edges. This category makes sense if we mark the option align to selection because we are working here with the space between objects and these objects have to be more than two. Imagine then that I select these three guys align to selection and I say distribute top edges. What we are gonna do is to distribute the vertical space between the objects evenly, taking as a reference the topmost edge of each one. Let's see it, one click, and here we are. The guy in the middle moved a little bit to the top, and now if we measure the distance between top edges, we will see that it is exactly the same. I will do it using another rectangle, this time using just the stroke. Let's check it. This distance has to be the same as this another distance. And it is, right? Once this is clear, we can understand the other options. Distribute vertical centers. The reference will be, in this case, the vertical centers. And distribute bottom edges. On the right side, we find the same options, but this time, evenly, we will distribute the horizontal distance between objects. And here we find another option, use spacing. And we have this little box. We can mark it or not. Thanks to this option, we can enter a specific value for that spacing. Let's do it. Use spacing on. And then here, let's say we want 10 millimeters. Then we select the objects and we hit our desired tool. This time I will use distribute vertical centers. So the distance between the vertical centers will be always 10 millimeters. Let's do it. One click. And here we are. They look too much close to each other. Let's say 40 millimeters. Again, here is more clear what is happening. I will show you. Line tool. I will place this tool in the middle of the vertical dimension of this object. Then I will repeat the same here and I will repeat the same. The distance between these vertical centers are always, in this case, 40 millimeters. Let's jump now to the next option. Distribute spacing. This category is very similar to the previous one, but as you can see in the thumbnail, this time the tool is measuring the space between the end of the object and the start of the next object. And we have two options. We can distribute the vertical space and we can distribute the horizontal space. As it happened before, we have a specific box call use spacing. Let's turn it on and then let's enter here our desired value. For instance, 50 millimeters. Then I hit the tool, distribute vertical space, and here we have our result. I can move my selection to the top and then we already know that the distance between the bottom most edge of this first guy to the top most edge of this another guy is 50 millimeters. And that is the same distance between the second guy and the third guy. We are talking now about this distance. This distance is the same here and here. And of course, we can use as well this another tool called distribute horizontal space instead of vertical space. To finish the class, I would like to point out another option. You will find it here, align to key object. In my experience, this option is kinda useful and it works like that. First of all, we have to select the guides. Then I go over align to, I mark align to key object. And then you can see how the first guy has been highlighted by this blue frame. At this stage, I can change the guy I want to be the key object just by clicking once on this another guy or this pink guy. Let's say for instance, this first one and this guy is not gonna be moved this guy is gonna remain still then imagine that i want to use the tool called align horizontal centers what is gonna happen is that all the guys are gonna be aligned using the horizontal center of this key object as a reference i will use a rule in order to show you then i hit the tool align horizontal centers and here we are with the result. 
So in every situation, you will have to use the most appropriate tool of this panel. And remember that you can use these tools not just with objects as rectangles, but with text boxes and images as well. They work exactly the same as any object, any geometry. Let's do an example to finish the class. Text tool, one box here. I text down the word in design, I will increase the size of the font till it matches with the size of the box because the align tool is going to take the frame box as a reference, not the size of the text inside. Then selection tool, I can adjust as well the height of this text box. This height is giving the tool the size of what is called vertical centers. And then once I have this, let's place it in the middle of the page. Firstly, let's go over Align to. Then I hit Align to Page. Then secondly, I hit Align Horizontal Centers. This text box now is aligned with the horizontal center of the page. And then let's hit finally Align Vertical Centers. The vertical center of this box is aligned with the vertical center of the page. And here we have our text perfectly placed in the middle of the page. Well, time to say goodbye. I hope that you have enjoyed the class. I recommend you to practice these tools step by step. They are super useful and very intuitive. So bye bye and I see you in the next episode.